Hey guys, Andy here at Freshwater Finds. Just wanted to do a quick PSA on boater safety, diver safety. Uh, a couple of you guys tagged me last night on Facebook uh, from a, a person by the name of Joey, uh, Joey Sturgis, who happens to be a pretty prominent producer uh, in the Detroit area. Um, he was out boating yesterday, lost a pair of prescription glasses that meant the world to him. So uh, he posted, he was offering a, a really sweet reward to find these things. And uh, I felt confident enough that I could. However, my issue was that I don't own a boat to get out to where he was at. So he was able to hook me up with uh, Ken and Debbie Smith. Great people. Uh, if you guys are watching, thanks for the hospitality. I really appreciate it. But, um, but anyway, I uh, called Ken this morning. Ken said, hey, you got everything you need. You got a flag. Uh, you know, and I told Ken, just like I tell my wife and I tell my dad, look, I don't need a flag because I, really, I don't really dive away from the boat too far. Um, and I'm usually, we were pretty close to shore today, so I felt like uh, I was pretty confident that I wouldn't need a flag. So anyway, my fault. Um, I did get hit today by a boat. Um, I was very fortunate and um, you know, I lost some, some things that can be replaced, but uh, the impact uh, snapped the GoPro unit off the top of my mask. Um, I probably have maybe a slight to mild concussion. I know it knocked me unconscious for a few seconds there. Uh, when I came to, um, my metal detector was no longer in my hands. Uh, I ended up losing a veneer, so I gotta make a dentist appointment. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of go over real quick, you know, they, they teach us stuff in scuba diving, uh, they teach us stuff in boater safety, you know, always watch the water. Uh, this guy would have never saw me. Uh, I didn't think that he would have been where he was towing, uh, towing a tube in that shallow of water. Um, but, you know, and usually I hear boats coming from a mile away. This time I didn't. Um, I, I'm not sure why. But um, I got back to the boat. Debbie says, oh, you're bleeding. So there you can see blood busted on my nose. Um, you know, but fortunately I'm a little bit sore. I'll probably be a little bit more sore tomorrow, uh, but I'm okay. So I just kind of wanted to throw this out there and let you guys know that uh, this can be dangerous. Um, and I learned today that, uh, you know, not to take it for granted and um, that people don't always see, especially when you're under the water, um, people don't always see you. So I, I kind of wanted to show you guys my, uh, my face mask real quick because, uh, you know, like I said, the boat, I believe the boat hit my GoPro. So busted, busted the GoPro unit off. I don't even know where that is. Um, busted my mask up. So this is going to be having to be replaced. Uh, nice crack in there. Um, the GoPro mount's gone. And then, um, you know, I'm out a metal detector. Uh, and like I said, I got to make a dentist appointment. So anyway, I know Dr. Frankel's going to love that, but um, I don't. And um, anyway, I just want to make, make you guys aware. Uh, hope you guys have a safe summer. Enjoy the summer. And like they say, if you fall off a horse, get back on it. This isn't going to keep me out of the water. I'll probably be diving tomorrow, depending on how I feel. Um, but I did just want to run this by you guys and let you know that it did happen. And, uh, you know, I always felt like it'll never happen to me. Uh, probably a lot of people feel the same way. So, uh, boaters out there, watch for swimmers, swimmers out there, watch for boats. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, and like I said, I'll keep these videos coming. Um, so I appreciate all your support and, uh, enjoy your summer.